spring is here. It's March 25th and this is one of my most favorite times of year. So I just wanted to make a little document of where I'm at with the garden for this year, for the year of 2021. And what you're looking at right now is called a garden bed hoop house that Frank made for me. And I can probably make another video to talk about that. Um, but that is new to the garden this year. And before I get started over here with everything that's growing, I was gonna take you into the house to show you some things here. Some potatoes that I was growing from the grocery store. And here is some wheat grass. Oh, I left the dog out there. All right, Piper, we'll be right there. Okay, be patient. So this is wheat grass and this is barley grass. This is another kind of wheat grass. And this is um, sunflower seeds. So I'm sprouting those. And these I'm sprouting to juice them for, um, for health reasons, to, um, to increase my overall general well-being. All right, doggy, you are so impatient. We're coming back out. Okay, here we go. So over here is the medicine garden bed. And uh, we have, oh, oh my gosh. It's probably not a good spot for that. All right, so we have uh, lemon catnip coming back over there. St. John's wort. Very cute little um, thyme there. It's called something rose. I don't know. I got to go look at it. Um, St. John's Wort. Did I say that over there? And, oh, I can't wait for this one. Uh, right here is bergamot or bee balm. And that should be a beautiful bush to attract hummingbirds and uh, different kind of insects, pollinators and things. Um, there's some rosemary. I don't know if that's going to come back. I hope it is. There's time. Uh, we have kale. I planted that in the fall and that made it through the winter and is growing. And right there is the second year of valerian root. I'll be able to harvest some of the root this year. I'm going to start harvesting it after the second year to make um, valerian root herbal tea. I can dry that. Here's some yarrow. We have German chamomile. No, that's Roman chamomile right there. That is a perennial. The other kind is uh, the German chamomile and that is an annual that reseeds itself and I have that growing all over in the garden. Right here, oh that's wild, that doesn't belong there, um, but there's an aster that's coming back. And right here, I'm very excited about this. This is the second year of my echinacea that I planted last year. It grew a little bit last year and now, um, now it's coming back. I'm very excited about that. Uh, it didn't flower last year, but this year it should flower and then I'll be able to uh, preserve it for herbal tea. And there is iris there. We've got some lavender. Very excited to see that the foxglove and delphinium, I don't know what that is, I forget what I planted back there. Um, but we got hollyhock coming back, snapdragons. <clears throat> I don't know why they come back. Uh, I don't think our winter is uh, hard enough to kill them off. Um, so we got some other things here. We got some other lettuces, there's kale, different kinds of kale. Got some more hollyhock and foxglove. And that is uh, alyssum. Columbines are over there as well. Can't wait to see them. Here's our beautiful rhododendron. I need to give that some fertilizer because it looks sad. And lemon balm here, phlox, sweet worrium, more. 
foxglove delphinium and columbine right here is the future home of the flower beds that will be in the shade mostly um, starting to compost the soil and build it up and my little habitat area for the birds always have to have birds here's my meditation circle um, just something I made and around here we'll grow flowers and stuff and we got to go see what's growing in the greenhouse now this is my pride and joy this is what I've been working on all winter to keep away the winter blues because not being able to be outside in the garden and in the sun drives me crazy so I decided to start everything indoors early. So I've been growing everything here since the end of January. And you can see I've got some kale here. It's going to go in first. I just started weeding the garden, so I'm getting ready. These things are going to spend their first overnight in the greenhouse i think the weather is going to be okay we're going to start the process of hardening these off i've been traveling around the house with them now finding sun in different places um i have an artificial growing system set up in the basement so i've been able to grow quite a bit of stuff and just keep rotating it and i have something uh very exciting over here this is my microgreens garden. So the first one here is broccoli, clover, and alfalfa microgreens. And over here we have kale. And this is three different kinds of kale. And these feel amazing. They look so healthy. They taste wonderful. The health benefits are through the roof. They're full of all good kinds of things. So many things, I can't even mention them right now. And they correct so many health problems. As, and as the same thing as the wheatgrass that I'm growing. I'm growing it so that I can juice it. And uh, I intend to be as healthy as I can possibly be. Turning 50 next year, I'm gonna turn 50 with grace and style and uh, with a lot of green stuff. So that's where I'm starting. Frank and I are gonna be eating healthier and eating everything that we grow. Uh, so I'm just experimenting to see what will grow early. I have every kind of flower you could think of, every kind of herb, every kind of vegetable, not really every kind of vegetable, just ones that I thought I could try to grow early. Just so you see what I got here. Now, this is going to be the first night that they spend out here. And I'm really hoping that the temperature is going to be okay. I've been monitoring the temperature every day. I have the temperature gauge in here, which is right here. It's 66 in here right now. And um, it should maintain that. Um, temperature if, if it goes down to 50 I'm okay with that I think these guys will be okay I'm gonna say a little prayer we hope that they're gonna be okay and there's my little monitor so that I know what the temperature is out here so with me talking all this time hopefully I raise the temperature uh, so that it can have a good night out here nice and warm and cozy except I'm not gonna leave the microgreens out here they will come inside with me and because uh, they look like they are fragile and I just needed them to soak in some sunshine to uh, boost their chlorophyll, boost the chlorophyll that's in their leaves. I'm going to be doing the same thing with the wheat grass tomorrow most likely uh, because the chlorophyll is the, the biggest beneficial element that they have in them for um, boosting your immunity and helping detoxify the body and the liver. So taking you over here very quickly because this video is getting long and I don't want it to be boring. So we have a lot of things that came back that I was surprised about. I haven't cleaned out this flower bed yet. This is a brand new one that I made at the end of the year and I put in it some vegetables and 
I mean, uh, some kale. And little did I know that I was putting them in for all the animals. So all winter, I thought I was going to eat them, but the animals, the rabbits, whoever, the moles, they had a good time with them. So they're just coming back again. They didn't die off in the winter. They were covered in snow for about a month. And I am very shocked that, um, that they're here and they're beautiful. This is red boar kale. Um, it's very sweet. It's delicious, very healthy. It's got the, uh, the healthy enzyme ethanocyanide or something like that. I, I don't know how you pronounce it. Um, over here, I'll stay on the back side here. Well, this is yarrow right here. Yarrow, this yarrow went nuts and it replanted itself like everywhere, but that's okay. I'm probably gonna pot a lot of that. I don't know what it's gonna look like. I mean, it should be beautiful. Um, I think it's pink and um, different kind of pinks, yarrow. And here we have garlic. We have English daisies that are already blooming right there but this is the garlic bed and I this is where I got up to in my weeding and getting these beds ready I kind of made a mistake this year where I didn't cover the whole bed in mulch um, I kind of lost track I don't know what I was doing but um, I will know better for next year to put a thick layer of mulch down because the weeds that I have to get through is unbelievable a lot of buckets of this so I won't do that again I will because where I did mulch I didn't have nearly as many leaves so I only mulched what I was still growing so I'm learning I'm learning as I go so I'm really glad to see all the stuff that's coming back though it's very exciting especially this garlic I'm very 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 excited about the garlic um, July will be when we harvest it and there is our onions as well uh, it'll be right around the time that I'll be harvesting some tomatoes and peppers, so I intend to make a beautiful homemade tomato gravy with everything that's growing in the garden, including all the herbs that I have that are coming back. So these are leeks right here, and there's some of the onions over there. Um, the leeks, there are also onions. We have lettuce here. The stuff came back. There's fennel, bronze fennel and green fennel. Um, over there, we have mustard greens. This was very exciting to see. Um, these stayed green all winter and they made, they were covered in snow at one point, but they came back and um, they came right back to life. They are beautiful, vibrant green and now they're getting flowers. So um, the next stage where they'll get the mustard seeds on them and I'll collect them and um, probably grind them up, make my own spice. Uh, over here, so it's more mustard, mustard greens, as well as collard greens. They are also hardy and survive the winter. Um, this is all sweet William here and Shasta daisies and some colorful kale, some more sweet William daisies. This is all the the chamomile that reseeded itself and came back. So. Just like the yarrow, I'm going to collect that and repot it and probably give it away or move it somewhere else. And here are carrots that also lasted over the winter and they're coming back. These are orange carrots. And over here we also have, there's another pretty ornamental kale. That's a dinosaur kale. This is iceberg lettuce that came back. Some parsley and back there is Siberian kale oregano and here's yellow and red carrots and then all that is kale and lettuce and swiss chard and some more onions and all these different flowers all right the dog is getting impatient she wants to go in probably because the video is so long so we will say goodbye for now and we will update you in a few weeks bye bye